We saw a slime princess run out of here. What happened? We were on a date, and we had a little disagreement. What kind of a disagreement? Oh, you know, what to do on our date, where to go on our date, that I kidnapped her to go on our date, the usual stuff. You seem depressed, you know, more than usual. Well, I always get upset when I'm confronted by my sense of relationship inadequacy. Huh? I has a sad when I think about how I can't woo the ladies. Ah. How come you froze that geyser? When I get really upset, I lose it and freeze stuff sometimes. It's something I'm trying to work on. What happened to your nose? Looks like you hurt it. I tripped and fell when I tried to catch up with Slime Princess. My nose went right through that mound of grass and up popped a geyser. The water must be really close to the surface here. Crazy. Hey, uh, you guys mind if I hang out for a while? And maybe you'll think of some advice for me or something. <sighs> sure, why not? Finn, I know there's got to be a way to use all this to defeat Combustor. We just have to figure it out. What? Use somebody else's misery to accomplish our mission? Hey, guys, maybe we should think about pulling an all-nighter on this one back at your place. I got a lot of stuff to work out. I'm in. Gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. One geyser coming up. Now we gotta get Ice King to freeze it. <laughs> gotta really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. <laughs> now we gotta go. Let's trick Ice King into freezing it. Maybe I come on too strong. You think that's it? Maybe I should find a more subtle way to kidnap the princesses. Something more romantic. Or maybe you could just lock yourself up in the Ice Kingdom, cut yourself off from the world, and become a fanfic writing hermit. You'd be great at that. Oh, you're right. I was! Man, that was pretty harsh. We needed another ice column, dude. Sacrifices had to be made. Aw, oh, talking to you guys isn't helping at all. I'm gonna go talk to Gunter. He's a much better listener. Have you guys figured out what to do? Yeah, we're gonna trick Combustor into smashing his head against these super hard frozen geysers. Not even his super thick skull will stand up to that. That just might work. All right, guys, here they come. You said it, dude. We got tons of loot. Doesn't get much better than that. Flame Princess, don't worry. We already took down two of those guys that were after you. One more and you're safe to go back and rule the Fire Kingdom. You guys just don't get it. Those other guys might have been tough, but they're nothing compared to Leroy. Okay, so tell us about Leroy. Leroy is the most experienced flame guard in the Fire Kingdom. He served and helped to overthrow seven different rulers. 
He's only ever been loyal to my father, and he's sworn to make it his mission to remove me from power. So, if this Leroy guy is so tough, where's he hiding? He's not hiding. He's just taking his time. He knows there's no hurry because no one has ever defeated him. He's still a little ways off to the east. I guess you better give us the scoop on this guy's weaknesses. That's just it, Finn. As far as I know, Leroy has no weaknesses. He's the most powerful and invulnerable flame guard that has ever served in the Fire Kingdom. That does not sound good. It's not. Rumor has it he somehow got his hands on a weapon that fires powerful sound waves. He doesn't even have to touch his enemies to defeat them anymore. Lemon grab sound sword. It has to be. Yeah, we need that sword. Now we have two reasons to lay the beat down on Leroy. Maybe you guys should just give up and go home. I had a good run as ruler of the Fire Kingdom. Maybe it's just time I stepped aside. No way, Flame Princess. You're a totally math ruler. I'm a... We're gonna save you. Well, okay. I just opened up the path to the east. Go ahead and scout the place out and figure out how you're going to fight Leroy. You've got a little while, but don't take too long. Once they get here, I won't have a choice but to let Leroy and his men through. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Oh my glob! What's wrong with this thing? What the? Why is Lumpy Space Princess out here? I don't know. We've got to get her to leave or she might get hurt. LSP! You have to get out of here! There's gonna be a huge dangerous battle here any minute! No way, Fen. I was here first. What are you doing out here anyway? Singing. Duh. Seriously, LSP, you have to leave. Now! I'm not going anywhere. You and Jake just want me to lose again like last time. No lump and way! What are you saying? None of your lump and business, Jake. Keeping my set list secret this time. How much longer will you be? I mean, you really don't have much time, seriously. I don't know. The stupid speaker is broken. I can't practice with a broken speaker. The sooner it starts working, the sooner I'll be done. Okay. If we promise to help you, will you leave right after? Yeah, whatever. I'll leave if you fix the speaker and help me rehearse. Guess we don't have a choice, Jake. The faster we do what she says, the faster she'll leave. What are you guys still doing here? Fix my lumpen speaker already. Hey, you got one of the vibrating thingies from one of the speakers. Eh, better than nothing. LSP, your speaker's fixed. You can start rehearsing. About time. <clears throat> My lumps, I know you want to slump my bones. These lumps, but you can't cause you're a chump. These lumps. Ugh. That sounds awful. Finn, turn the speaker so I can hear myself better. There, try it now. My lumps! I know you want some for all these lumps! But you can't get your shop! Ugh, it's too loud. Maybe if I step back. My lumps! I know you want some for all these lumps! But you can't get your shop! Now the speaker's pointed the wrong way again! Then, more of it. <sighs> Try it again. From the top. My lumps. I know.
But you can't cause your chop. Ah, uh, no. I still sound terrible. You suck at fixing speakers, Ben. That's it. I'm out of here. I cannot work with amateurs. I thought she'd never leave, dude. Yeah, but all this biz with the microphone and speaker gave me an idea of how to deal with Leroy. Blame Princess? I think we have a plan. Leroy really has the sound sword. We can use LSP setup to turn it against him. Let Leroy's guys through. We're ready. I sure hope so. Here they come. Prepare to taste the wrath of Leroy Flame Guard. Look, Finn, we were right. He's got Lemon Grab's sound sword. Yeah, makes things interesting, doesn't it? Now, do you finally get how there could be worse things than dancing? Magic Man, you take jerkdom to a whole new level. I try, I really do. Have fun not dancing. You guys are going down from my loud waves of sound. Yeah? Bring it on, Leroy. We're ready for you. Yeah! Combat awesomeness. Check out all the dosh we got. <laughs> yeah, we kicked some serious booty. Well, Flame Princess, that's the last of them. You can go back to ruling the Fire Kingdom in peace. For now, at least. Fire Kingdom seems kind of unstable politics wise. Flame people are hotheads. What are you gonna do? We'd love to stay and talk, Princess, but we better get moving. Come on, Jake. It's time to head over to Castle Lemongrad. Castle Lemongrab is definitely not a happy place. Yeah, this place really creeps me out. Let's give Lemongrab their sword and get out of here. It's unlocked. Guess we can just go in. Lemongrab, look what we've got. See, I told you these guys were the ones who took your noisy sword. Magic man, what the? Lemongrab, he's lying. My work here is done. Darn you, Magic Man! What? My sound sword! Thieves! You stole my thing! Huh? No. You asked us to help you find it, and we did. We're bringing it back to you. You stole it! And now you come to steal more of my precious things? Theft is unacceptable! Dude, settle down. We're not here to steal your... Unacceptable! For the last time, Lemon Grab, we didn't steal your 100 years dungeon! And my lemon peeps will recommence their lovely lemon songs from all the corners of Ooh as soon as my remote reconditioning device is ready. But you don't have any reason for them to sing. You have your sword back. You don't need to call it anymore. The sweet sounds of my lemon peeps will block out the evil dancing noise music should it ever come again. But 100 years singing! 100 years dungeon! No parole! What? Yeah! Ugh. Oh. That dude has anger management issues. Whew. Now what do we do? Yeah, hopefully not end up like that dude. Gotcha. The hole's too deep. Can't reach whatever's in there. That 
That won't work. Not gonna work. Yeah, Lemon Sweets looks comfortable in there. That's a good first step to a great prank. All right, Lemon Sweets is way up there in the catcher's mitt. Is that the prank? Almost. Lemon Grab will jump up to get the doll, but we're gonna give him something interesting to land him when he comes back down. Not exactly sure where you're going with this, but you're the prank master. Yeah, I am. Now, let's find a place to hide. Nothing. Hey, did you hear something buzzing in my backpack? This thing doesn't have a keyhole or buttons. Just some kind of speaker. I bet that's a sound lock. That screaming noise the lemon people make must be just the right pitch to activate it. Man, I guess we're stuck. I don't know how we're gonna activate that thing without a lemon person to scream it open. Hmm, maybe not. I have an idea. You still got that shot collar thing, right? Put it on. Yeah, sure, okay. But I don't know how this is supposed to help. Really? Not the remotest idea? <laughs> I'm sure something will come to you. Okay. <laughs> ah! Jake, what the heck? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Priceless, dude. Not cool, man. Aw, oh, lighten up, dude. It worked, didn't it? Yeah, I guess. But from now on, how about we stick to prank and lemon grab? You got it. Um, just in case, you might want to take off that collar. Cause that scream of yours cracks me up. Done. One jar of nasty fountain water. Let's hide in here and get this prank party started! Ahem! Father, help me! I'm trapped! Oh my! Is that you? Lemon Sweets? Have you come back? Lemon Sweets? How did my favorite mint thing get there? Where is my remote control? And how did you get stuck, Lemon Sweets? Hmm, never mind. I'm just happy you are back. Wait there! I will rescue you! Oh, now what? What an unacceptable day I'm having. That's funny. Now what are you doing? I'm gonna make his landing a little more interesting. Now to put a jar of nasty fountain water under his feet. What? Who, who's down there? No! My shoes! Wet feet are unacceptable! What's the matter, Lemon Grease? Afraid of a little water? You! I am not Greece! One million years done! Whoa! Oh. Ha! Prank! Ow! Unacceptable! Yeah! Awesome! Okay, now the lemon grab has been pranked, we need to find out how to stop his lemon peeps from screaming before he comes after us. Man, how do we get into messes like this? Magic man! Oh, yeah, right. Hey, again, guys. So, things going okay? Everything good? No, man. Things are not good. Hey, don't get an attitude with me. You could be dancing right now instead of being in this predicament. You started this whole thing. You need to help us stop Lemon Grab's peeps from making that noise and then stop messing with us. Yeah, you owe us. Take us to whatever Lemon Grab is using to control the lemon heads. Right now. Hey, no problem. Consider it done. Aw, oh, man, the reconditioning chamber. I remember this place. Lemongrab uses it to shock people. Hey, that console out there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I bet that's what he's gonna use to make the lemon peep scream. He's probably gonna rig it to a remote control and send a super powerful shock signal from the reconditioning chamber to their shock collars. But what he doesn't know is that we have the remote control. Right, but we still gotta destroy that console. If we can get out of here, that is. Uh, 
good. There you are. Mm. Acceptable. I think we're in trouble, dude. Mm. Yes, trouble. You're pranking was both unfunny and unacceptable. Leningrad, listen. We didn't. Listening is over. You will be reconditioned. Maximum juice. Let the charge cycle begin. This made me angrier than your previous pranks of the hot sauce in the Candy Kingdom and the fizzing blood incident at my state dinner. And I suspect you have my remote control for these offenses. You must be reconditioned. I will monitor the controls and ignore you until the reconditioning commences. Jake, we gotta find a way out of here before that thing finishes charging. Okay, now what? I got an idea. Give me that shock collar. Okay, give me a sec. I know exactly what to do. Steady, steady. Gotcha. What? What is this? This is unacceptable. You hit the door lever. Now's our chance, Finn. We can't just shut it down. We have to destroy it. You did it, man! That thing's gonna blow! Hi, I'm back! Just thought I'd say goodbye before you recondi- Out here, dude! Oh, my. <laughs> he really should stop messing with us. <laughs> this console is a goner, but just in case, I'll nab this lever. That'll make it harder to rebuild. No! My juice lever! I won't be able to make my peep sing! They'll come back and live here again! I guess our work here is done. Another successful Finn and Jake investigation. Um, you think those guys will be all right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Laters! Oh. Unacceptable!